What does passing the torch mean? Think about your high school programs. You gotta show the younger guys in your program what it takes to be good. Whether that's calling them and saying, hey, I'm working out at nine in the morning, you need to be there, I'm gonna come by and pick you up. Or, hey, this is what we do in the off season. When I leave next year, you need to make sure this gets done in the off season. Or, hey, coach can't stand when we don't do weights every day in the, in the summer. So make sure they are lifting every day in the summer. You have to lead so that when you're gone, the program can be equally as successful when you are gone. Show the younger guys what it takes to be great. Hey, and sometimes it's, like Keeley was the point guard before me at our college, and he could tell you the point guard before him is? Aaron Harris. Aaron Harris. Sometimes it's, it's giving a butt whip into the guys underneath you and like teach them how to compete and like, hey, it's not easy. Like this is the level you need to be at. Uh, sometimes it's like that as well, okay? Get on the phone, get two or three guys, maybe like it's your seventh or eighth man off, um, on the bench, you know, the first two or three guys that come in that you just need to develop a little bit. In high school, if you have like two or three good players, you can be really good. You can, and then a couple of guys that know their role. So when you go work out, call them, text them, get other people in there so you're developing a whole team or you're developing three or four players. Don't ever go work out by yourself. Take someone with you.